Hi, Shanice from Shanice DK Designs here, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking through my last 90 days on Amazon KDP. So I'm just kind of gonna be sharing how much I made um, and just what I did in the last 90 days. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. <laughs> All right, so the last 90 days have kind of been crazy. Um, I actually have not done a whole lot on Amazon KDP. I did not upload or create any new books. I've also kind of limited my promotion. In the last video I made, I shared how I was mostly promoting my books on TikTok. I hadn't figured out Amazon ads yet. Um, and so, you know, it's been a crazy past couple of months. And so I really have not been promoting um, as I should have been on TikTok or even on my website or just promoting at all. <laughs> So the last 90 days, it's really just been up to Amazon and the links that I had already placed. So um, just kind of linking through my website, whenever I write articles, I would include a link wherever it's relevant. Um, and so it's mostly been that that's kind of been doing the work and then also whatever is kind of like on Pinterest. Um, and so we're going to look at the last 90 days just to see how much I made and then we'll kind of talk a little bit more about it there. This is the new KDP dashboard. So they completely moved over, but I'm actually gonna go back to the old um, dashboard just so we're able to look at it. So I'm gonna click reports old right here. And then that's gonna take us over to this old site. <laughs> okay, so this is the old dashboard um, and we are going to look for the last 90 days, but I guess we can start with this week. And so this week I've only sold one book, one book. I've sold one book this week. Oh, wait, no, this is this is the last 90 days. I want to look at this week. I was like, what's happening? OK, so this week I've only sold one book. And I think it was my locked hair care journal. So just that big journal that talks about um, just caring for locks and kind of tracking your lock journey. Um, and I, as I said, I haven't promoted um, at all. But this book, I ha actually have it linked on two websites. And so I'm, I'm thinking that that's kind of where those sales have been coming from. If we go back to the last 90 days, which is going to be rough, <laughs> Um, you can clearly see that it was not a great month, right? So, well, past few months. So in April, I sold three books. Um, and then in May, I sold six books, which is great, right? Not too bad. And if you notice, um, there are days when I have no sales. And then you have that one day when I sell three books. And then no sales. And then that one day that I sold six books. And then the most shocking thing that happened these past three months is I logged into KDP and I had sold 50 books. What? Mind blown. Um, so that was pretty exciting considering that I hadn't been promoting. I had not been. Um, so that was pretty exciting considering that I hadn't been promoting. I had not been creating any new books and I logged in and I saw that I sold 50 books. So that was kind of mind blowing. So for the last three months, I've actually only made 200 and well, I said only what? This is a lot. I've made $292 and 80 cents in the last three months on Amazon KDP, having not promoted at all. Right. That's what I said. I hadn't promoted at all. So for me, I think it's really good. I think it's it's it definitely shows why you should start Amazon KDP or why you should continue it or just kind of leave it active because you never know who's going to pop on there and purchase 50 of your books. So surprising things happen every day, I suppose. Um, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm very excited and proud to still have this account active. So the book that I sold was actually a mindfulness journal. So it was not just a blank journal um, with with nothing in there. It actually had content inside. And that's also one of the tips that a lot of other um, content creators here on YouTube share when it comes to Amazon KDP is that you shouldn't just try to create no content books, but low content books. So books that actually have some value, actually have some substance. Um, and so that template, the mindfulness journal template is one of those substance templates that I did create. Um, and I actually have 
the same template with about four covers but only one of the covers has been selling so that also shows that it's really important that you um that you reuse your templates and kind of make different covers because you're, you're not sure who um, each cover will appeal to and so in this case um, the cover appealed to this person I was able to, to sell those 50 books and so I mean I think it's it's not bad for three months of, of not promoting but definitely as I move into the close of this year my plan is to start promoting a bit more um, as well as to start creating some more books especially since I missed a lot of the key points earlier in the year but I'm hoping that I can catch some of those key key holidays or key times at the end of the year so um, just kind of journals that people are going to be buying for new year's resolutions and kind of writing that type of stuff goal setting journals or books um, so those are my ideas hopefully I can get them onto paper and actually create the resources um, I think just one thing that has been limiting me is that um, it, there's a lot of uncertainty, right, when you're creating for, for KDP. And I feel like when I first started, I was in this space of just creating a lot of books because that's what I was told to, to do from all the videos that I watched here on YouTube. Um, but then I think that kind of got me into a place of extreme burnout because I created so many books, some of them that I, I didn't like them at all because it was my first time creating journals and low content books and so it was almost like learning something new and then pushing 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 and i felt like i got burnt out just from kind of doing all of that and so moving to the the last part of this year i really want to take some time and and focus on the books that i am creating and create some more books of substance and that takes time and it takes kind of getting back into the right creative space and so that's i've just been giving myself the time to do that so let me know in the comments how your KDP journey has been going. I did see a lot of your questions. I'm going to be trying to answer them in the next couple of weeks, trying to get back on a consistent um, video flow or get a consistent video flow because I feel like I never really had that. Um, so that's kind of what's coming up on this channel, but just let me know your question. And I did see this question. Um, on one of my videos. No, I have not been using any ads. I actually still have not figured out how Amazon ads work fully. So I'm still kind of learning that. So watching some videos on there. My thing is I don't want to run ads and then I end up paying just like out of pocket for the ads and not actually getting in any sales. So I kind of want to see how it works. And then I also want to make sure that I have a good book um, that, you know, <laughs> people would actually want to buy, um, or that I feel confident in that people will buy, um, before kind of diving into that aspect. So that's it for this video. And my last three months where I made almost $300 of just essentially doing this, right. And <laughs> I feel like that's, that's everybody's goal. Um, in, in, in starting out on Amazon KDPs, you, you want to, to go to sleep and wake up to $300. And so it took 90 days, but what can I say? So again, just let me know how your journey has been going. Um, if you're thinking about getting on Amazon KDP, let me know what you would need help with. And I'll try to, my best to support you and make a video and kind of walk you through. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of blabbering. <laughs>